Today we found this barrel of shoes. Believe it or not, it was $5. And so at that point, I didn't really look through to see what was in it because I saw right on the top there's a pair of Merrells in really nice shape. There's, I see Eddie Bauer. Um, I'm seeing Crocs new with tags. Um, I didn't even bother looking through. For $5, I was okay with the first two or three I saw on the top. So let's have a look and see what we, we got. All right. So I knew these were in here, a pair of Merrells. These are, you know, probably $15 or $20. We've got L.L. Bean, no, Eddie Bauer. Um, slide, leather slides, they're like new. Or, you know, at least in excellent condition. Uh, more Eddie Bauer. We've got Crocs, new with tags. Size 12, looks like women's 12. Another more new Crocs. New with tags. <laughs> this is going to be a good lot. L.L. Bean flip-flops. Yeah, I, I think we're going to end up pretty happy with this. So we ended up with six different lots. Four lots and two singles. So here's what happened. These are new or like new traditional Crocs. Um, I'm going to put those two pair out at $49. And here we have um, four more different assorted Crocs. Um, again, all size 12. Two of these new with tags. I'm going to put that lot out at $59. I just kind of put all the blacks together. And here we've got Champion. We've got Eddie Bauer. You know, some lesser known Featherlight. Easy Spirit. But there's five different kinds. They're all in... Really nice condition. I mean, these are the worst of the bunch right here, and there's really nothing wrong with them, just a little wear. So those five pair, I'm going to put out for $59.50. Uh, these four are all Eddie Bauer. If you don't know that brand, it's kind of like an L.L. Bean or a, it's an outdoor brand. Pretty popular and, and pretty high end. So these four will go out for $59. Uh, these Clark's Artisan. They're brand new without tags. I'm going to put those out at $28.50. And the Merrells that were on the top, those will have about right around the same, $25 or $30. And then we have these three here, which really, for one reason or another, didn't fit into a lot. Not quite nice enough. And there's a pair of flip-flops that are my size. So, you know, all in all, the initial listing is going to end up being about $280 for all these shoes. Now we probably will not get that because we're going to accept offers. So at 25 cents a pair we can certainly afford to take almost any offer we get considering we're adding shipping. So now I'm going to show you how I photograph these lots. Okay, so what I'm using here is just a towel on the couch. The lighting's good here in the living room right now. I go all around the house and just kind of follow where the lighting's good. It doesn't really take that much as long as your lighting's decent. And in the living room here, I can control the lighting because I've got the level or type blinds on the window so I can control the lighting. There's no sun coming in, so this is a good location for right now. So what I'll do is I'll start by taking like a master photo that shows all four pair. Then what I do is take each pair individually and move them around, try to find a really nice way to take a picture of them. I'll take two or three different ones, like maybe I'll take a picture in this position. Maybe I'll take a picture in this position. But I'll take a picture of each one individually. Take two or three different ones and pick the one that's the best. Okay, one of the things I really like to do when I'm photographing shoes is to make sure they don't look uneven. If you see this right here, it's not the photo that you want to use. You want to get them you know, lined up as perfectly as possible. So when you look at the photo, it doesn't look like they're mismatched. So again, I'll take a photo like this. I'll take a photo like this. Maybe I'll take one like that. And then I'll decide on the best one. So that's how I'll do that one. And I'll have one master photo and one and or two of each individual pair. Okay, so here's a lot of the five black ones. And you'll see, if I go over here, you'll see what I've done is I've stuffed some paper inside these slides. Because otherwise, if, without the paper in there, they look kind of flat and they just, they just don't present well. So when you take a picture of them, you want to take the picture without showing the newspaper. 
you know, because without the newspaper in them, they they just don't look that good. So that's why I that's why I use the newspaper. It makes a big difference in the presentation, and I will also ship them with that newspaper in there so they get to their destination without getting any more squished than they are. These did get a little pushed around in in the barrel. So sometimes I'll take a picture like this. It shows the front and the side of the shoe at the same time. Sometimes like this. Sometimes just like that. Whatever presents it the best. Now you see that one thing I'm noticing, this little flab, flap right here. I'd, okay, I'd want to get that up even. Because again, we're talking about the shoes trying to look even and, and not, not out of place. So this is what I would do for that. This is the picture I would be looking to get. Not that one. So just kind of pay attention to how it looks before you snap the photo, take a few, and so you can present the best face of, of your product. So that's how we're handling that particular lot. We we're really fortunate that there are a lot of size 12s, a lot of decent quality things that do sell. The comps were not too hard to find. So we'll um, show you the listings so you can see kind of what it looks like up on eBay, and we'll let you know when they sell. And the final bonus of the whole thing is that we got ourselves a nice handy dandy collapsible barrel that's worth five dollars. So the shoes are free. Hope this is helpful for you. And please subscribe, hit the little bell so you'll know when we put up more videos, and have a great day.